Hello everybody, welcome back to the FWS from Shingo for Gaming, and today I'm bringing you a brand new video, and today we're going to be talking about Black Ops 3, and I say we because my friend XW Ninja is here. So, Alright, so he is here, and we're ready to talk about Black Ops 3. So right off the bat in the Black Ops 3 trailer, you notice a few different things. One, you still have the double jump that you see from Advanced Warfare. But Treyarch has did something a little bit different and made it sort of like a hover more than a double jump. So if you watch any of uh, the gameplay trailers from E3, you will notice right off the bat, people don't use it nearly as much as in Advanced Warfare, where if you didn't use it, you were at a disadvantage. So, let's get Ninja's um, opinion on the subject. I feel like Black Ops 3 is going to be a very good game. It reminds me of when they were taking Advanced Warfare. Titanfall and Destiny on the one game and every single one of these games I'm a big fan of. Alright, that's a nice one, uh, Aaron. So what we're gonna be talking about again is we're gonna be talking about how Treyarch is making this game and how Treyarch is possibly gonna do just about everything right. I'm a huge fan of Treyarch. I followed them since Black Ops 1. I wish I could have followed them from World of War 2, but I mean, I just wasn't into the game at that time. I was still really young, but I ended up playing COD 4, I believe, was my first Call of Duty. So, I really expect a lot from this game. I feel like it's going to be one of the better games in a while, and I definitely think it's going to be better than Advanced Warfare. Nope. I'm not trying to hate on Sledgehammer or anything, but I just feel like Treyarch's going to really do it right. And I feel like with the hover system, the exosuits are going to be a lot better. You know, I don't think they have exosuits. I think it's like a built-in body part thing. So, I want y'all to leave some comments in the video at the end of this video and um, tell me how you think uh, the exosuits are going to go. All right, next one I want to talk about is I want to talk about how like the specialists are going to go. Like, there's one that like jumps in two spikes, slam the ground, and it it seems to be very OP. So, I just want to know what you guys think about it. Let's start off with see what Ninja's opinion is on the whole subject. I haven't really seen much about it. Just in the gameplay, I've seen the spice thing, and I think he got like a triple, and that's pretty really good. And I think one of them was the gun. And I'm not for sure, but he also got a triple for that, and it looks pretty OP. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, so uh, in the one that he was talking about getting the triple in on the second thing there, he was talking about the uh, pistol. I've seen this myself, this dude ran off the wall, jumped, and shot pretty much across the map and got a one hit kill on basically everyone he pointed this gun at. So I think that gun's going to be a little OP, they might have to tone it down a little bit. It might get a nerf later on in the game, but we'll see about it. It kind of reminds me of the golden gun from 007. That guy just punched me in the back, we'll see if we can get him back. Alright, but now what I'm going to talk about is the fact that Black Ops 3 is possibly going to be one of the better games in a while, in my opinion, because it's going to be, PlayStation 4 is going to be actually in the spotlight here with the new partnership with Activision. So, right off the bat, we're going to be able to see some new features, like PlayStation is finally going to be able to get some of these DLCs before Xbox, but personally, I, I just wish that we would all get them at the same time. It would uh, it make things go a lot easier, and I think that it could we could see that in the future. So I'm gonna get uh, Ninja's opinion on this one last time, and then uh, we'll see. PS4 having Black Ops 3 is an exclusive. I feel like it is really good because I feel like competitive Call of Duty is gonna now be on PS4. As me being a PS4 player and have been a PlayStation player my entire life, I feel like it's kind of unfair that Xbox has always had the, like, the prime, they've always been in the spotlight. I tried like my really hardest to try and get up there so I can play. <laughs> yeah, I hear, I hear you. I hear you, Ninja. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. We've been at this for a while now, as you can tell. It doesn't take much for us to laugh, so we'll see you guys next time. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, this has been XW Hazard, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.